Hi, it's Chi here, living a colourful life and it's so good to be with you today. Thank you for sharing time. And I have prepared a wonderful table of items for us to use today. And most of these will be found in your kitchen. So you can use any essential oils to make this wonderful hand moisturising scrub and nourishing to the, the joints, to the skin, to the fingers and our hands that work so hard. And also I'm going to teach you a bit about reflexology so that you can allow yourself to ease congestion and allow yourself to give yourself what feels like a little bit of a head massage but using your fingers. So that is the plan for today. So welcome. So let me tell you what I have and you will find a list below so that you can gather your bits and you may need to pause and then come back and join me. But I have um, a bowl of warm water a towel which is going to be handy, a little bowl of some kind and a teaspoon. I have a couple of essential oils here which I will explain in a few moments but you can use any essential oils that you have even if you simply have some lavender at home that would be perfect. I have some um, Himalayan salts which are wonderfully cleansing and I've got those mixed up in here with some Epsom salts which are reviving and refreshing so they're just lovely to use on the hands. I also have some olive oil which you're likely to have in your cupboard or you can use a vegetable oil or sunflower oil whatever you have and if you're thinking ah I've got everything but I don't have the salt then if you have table salt, you can use this and it will be okay. So, um, let's get started and let me explain why I'd love to share this with you, with you. It literally takes moments to create a little spoonful of very, very nourishing and restorative and helpful um, blend of salt and oils to then rub into your hands, probably into elbows as well, and to really let that area be exfoliated and any hard skin or rough skin will disappear, which is just lovely. So let's do what we need to do, which is get some of your Epsom salts, mixed with Himalayan salts for me, but as I said, you can use simple table salt. And I'm going to put a teaspoonful of that into my little bowl there. I just prepare them like this in advance because it makes it much easier. Um, and I make my bath shower, bath crystals and shower crystals, sprinkles using that. Um, so it's just handy for me and you will find videos on those things elsewhere on the channel. I am then going to introduce you to an oil today that I haven't spoken with you about yet. And... This oil is called Mei Chang and it's a really fabulous oil. It's very like lemongrass, so if you like the freshness of lemongrass, it's a great choice. But it's slightly milder, it's not quite as sharp and, um, and present as lemongrass. But I absolutely love it and I love it to use on hands and and in the bath and in the shower so I like it as a little bit of a refreshing blend. So in this little teaspoon I am simply going to pop in two three drops of Mei Chang. This is a beautiful one I have here from Mystic Moments. I've also got some lavender oil. For me lavender always cuts through everything and is the most fabulous balancer and mixed with the real freshness, grassiness of the Mei Chang, it'll work very well. So I'm going to put in two drops. There we go. So I have five drops of essential oil in here. Now what I want to say to you is these are my choice of oils today for this particular demonstration. And I have to say that they're just fantastically aromatic. 
But if you simply have lavender in the house or you might have eucalyptus, there's so many oils you may have. You may even find in the cupboard some olvas oil, which is a blend of oils prepared already that you can buy in the pharmacy or order online. So if you have some of that, it's perfectly fine to use that. And up to five drops in the pot is perfect. So let me mix that up. Mm. Check that I'm comfortable with the aroma that's coming from that. And it's very strongly favouring towards the Mei Chang in this particular um, blend. And I'm okay with that today because it's daytime I'm using this and I'm happy for that to be quite refreshing. So, um, this is ready for me to add the oil now. So I'm using olive oil and the reason for that is it's just got a little bit more of a weight than a vegetable oil or a sunflower oil. So I would like to add a teaspoon of that wonderful olive oil and it's a lovely rich one that but you could use light olive oil anything is possible so i'm mixing that up and some of it will be absorbed into the salt and i tend to mix this as i go in that and um, rather than save a jar with this all pre-made because you could make up a whole jar just you know with a simple jam jar that you have at home I quite like to be able to choose the blend in the moment, but do keep in mind if you've any left over, you can store it and you can reuse it at another time. So, let me just move aside these bits and bobs and bring to the front my bowl of water. I love to use warm water. Um, I find my hands will soften and enjoy warm water more and also the warmth opens the pores on the skin. And when you open the pores on the skin, that allows the oils more readily to be absorbed into your being, into your bloodstream, and it allows them to start working for you, which is wonderful. So I'm going to take a spoon of this, and I'm showing you with hands today, but this is perfectly fine to use this. And I'm just, you can probably hear it crunching. Can you hear that? And I am just rubbing this into my hands over my bowl. And some of the sprinkles are going into the water. It does sound a little bit gritty. But that's what helps with the exfoliation to take away all dead skin so that you're on lovely fresh skin. I'm going to do a little bit of work around my nails. I've been doing a lot of gardening, so therefore my fingers have been really quite difficult to keep really, really in tip-top condition. So this is just lovely for me to be doing this today and sharing with you. So there we are. And I do like to do a little bit of this on my elbows. So I'm just going to do that first on my elbow. Just lovely. And the other one. I'm probably going to get quite messy doing this. So now into the warm, warm water. Oh, and I could literally happily sit here, relaxing my shoulders, softening everything and feeling those oils do their work and let that warm filter into my hands. That's just beautiful. And of course, because I've got that olive oil in here, it's leaving a lovely protective layer on my skin. And I'm just gonna grab this towel and place it on my knees while I get some water and just rub my elbow. And really the granules of salt just come off and they will go into the water, which is just lovely. And everything's starting to feel really nice and soft there. Now you can be doing that for as long as you like, but I'm just going to dry my arms and I'm going to dry my hands and just pat them. 
nothing too vigorous there. Oh. And you know, I'm looking at the back of my hand and I wish I had shown you a before and after because my skin felt really dry and now it is beautifully soft. And this behaves like a bit of a barrier. So I don't need to do anything else now. Literally, my hands are ready to go off and do whatever. Now, I don't like to waste um, anything, so I would be inclined to be popping that water into my next bath, which will be happening for me later today after I've done some more gardening, um, because all those lovely oils are in there and my hands were clean before I started, so I would pop that in the bath and I'll get another lovely little aroma, or even just pour it in the bottom of the shower if you're showering the next time. I've still got a little bit left here, so that I will just pop in the bath later, or you could also do this beautiful practice with your feet. Just gorgeous in exactly the same way, and that means you're topped and toed, and it will allow you to really let those oils be absorbed. So, um, that's the first part of our practice today. Now I did promise you that I would show you a little bit about reflexology. And yes, reflexology can happen with the feet and it can also happen with the hands. And I'm just going to move some of these items so that you will be able to see more easily what I'm doing. So, reflexology. In the feet and in the hands, it is like there is a map of the body. And it is the same in the hands as it is in the feet, only they're slightly different shapes. And for the purposes of today, I am going to give you a really simple, simple way to learn a little bit about how that map works and where things are placed. All based on there being 7,000 nerve endings in the feet and we've got all these nerve endings also in our hands. So, here's how it works. In reflexology, the top of the hand, so that's right across the fingers onto the thumb, is the top part of the body. The middle part is the middle of the body. And along here, along the heel of the hand, up into there, is the very base of the body. So that's down in our first energy centre, our red chakra and our base energy. So that's all about rooting and feeling safe and comfortable. Now the middle area has all those organs, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, digestive system, and, and it's all organised in the way that our body is organised. And in my left hand, as you're looking at the screen just now, I have my left hand up, that relates to the left side of my body. And my right hand relates to the right side of my body. So, if I have got a bit of congestion, if I had hay fever, if I had a bit of a sniffle, if I was feeling I wasn't breathing as fully as I might like to, then the area relating to reflexology and the hand are the fingers. So therefore, if I choose to give my fingers a really good massage, and I'm going to show you one little technique here, which is really helpful, and it's called thumb walking. And here's how it works. I'm going to show you on the back of my hand. I hope you can see this. And it's like you take little bite-sized pieces and take a little munch as if that's moving along and it's a fairly firm pressure. You can turn your thumb slightly on the side, which makes it more particular, or you can have a flat thumb, which makes it more general. So that's thumb walking. You will learn lots about reflexology in many of my little video clips, but this is your starter. So we can do that technique, and maybe I'll just bring my hands a little bit nearer, down the fingers. So I am just doing that little bite-sized pieces with my thumb working down my fingers. If I wanted, I could go to the base of my fingers and I could actually take my 
thumb and I can gently circle my thumb. You sometimes find some little sensitive areas there. Ooh, I can feel that there. Relating to sinuses on my left side because I am working on my left hand. So I can do that with all the fingers and I would do all the sides of the fingers and really when you're starting out it doesn't actually matter if you go up or down or what you do. As long as you deal with each finger and you give all the areas on those fingers some attention. So it's a bit like colouring in and you can definitely go over the lines. So we're being a bit rebellious here. And there we are just working over the fingers in any direction. And if you do find, especially at the base here, this is called the shoulder line where the fingers join the hand. And if you find any sensitive areas around there, it's worth hanging around there. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong. It just means there's an extra opportunity to bring some attention to the sinuses, to your eyes, to your ears, and everything that's running along this area here, which is just fabulous. So there we are. So I have dealt with this side and when I breathe in, my left nostril feels clearer than my right. So um, I'm now going to carry on and I would do the same on my right hand. It is always good, and I emphasise, to do both sides, even if there's only sinus trouble or eyes or ears troubling you on one side. Definitely do both sides because it's always important that we try and balance ourselves. So we always do both sides. So yeah, so you work each finger. So let's assume I have done that and I have really allowed my fingers still feel so beautifully soft and do both sides, front, there, and sides of the fingers as well. So you're really covering everything, doing a real old colour in. And I can still smell those fantastic oils of Mei Chang and lavender in my hand. So there we are, my lovely, lovely followers. It is that simple. So if you would like to know more about reflexology and more about these wonderful ways, this has literally only been a little five minute demonstration and you can definitely do this and I'm going to invite you to do that so that you can really nurture, nourish yourself and I'll be telling you lots, lots more about little tips and hints um, Next time I'll be helping you learn how to use reflexology to ease a headache. So how handy is that? So lots more coming, so do subscribe so you don't miss any of the magic on Jude Chi Living a Colourful Life. And thank you so much for joining me today. You'll find all the products at the end in the list. If you click the little arrow, then they will drop down for you and that will help you find what you need. So it's all good wishes from me to you and I hope you're breathing fully, breathing more easily and can take in those wonderful aromas that you are creating so well. Thank you for joining me and I am going to have to move over and turn the video off today because I'm having a little technical hitch with my remote control. So I'm just coming over towards you and say bye for now.